Welcome to another instalment of Loom's Lunches. This time I'm in uh, somewhere in Perth CBD. I don't know. It's a far fun place from Durak, I tell you. Okay, so it's only Gerald and you and I. It's a new place to me. Just a, just a little bum. Just on the street BD. And yes, I'm already starting to review with the chips as usual. This time, I got the Red Rooster. Ah, what do you call it? I've already forgot what it's called, but it's a long burger. It's a really long burger. That's what it is. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. But let's review it nonetheless. Part of the chip. Chips are as good as they usually are, you know. Five out of ten chips. Not inherently bad, but not at all good in any way. Of course, let's actually probably start and taste of Coke, as is tradition at this point. Yes. Tastes like Coke, believe it or not. Who would have thought? Alrighty. Yeah, this one came with gravy. The last one in Rockingham didn't. Yeah, that place where I found an abandoned trolley with an empty twoies, uh, friggin, what do they call them, cardboard box thing, and that place managed to produce the best premiere in world history. Oh, I don't get it. You know, I'm just a bumpkin. Maybe you got to ask the intellectual guy. Try and cheat as usual. It looks like that place in Lord of the Rings where the bodies are in the swamp or something, but yeah, that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Lord of the Rings was a good movie out here. Just like last time I tried gravy and Jesus! Tastes um, like nothing whatsoever. Just uh, just nothing at all. Just eating air, eh? I don't get it. The inner workings of this gravy is a mystery even to me. We'll put that back in the box. It is warm, which is good because it's both raining and windy and outdoors at the moment. Let's try this chicken, hey. Yeah. Let's hope it last time, not on here. It doesn't taste like fish. Ah, this chicken actually tastes like chicken this time. What a miracle. It does not taste like the wings of Archimedes. It tastes like actual proper pump chickens. Is that too much to ask, Red Rooster? Like, seriously, you got nothing on Hungry Jacks. Yeah. As a show of encouragement for Red Rooster in their future endeavours, I've eaten the entire chicken while filming. That's a rare image for me because um, my phone's constantly running out of storage space to turn off at any second. Let's hope that doesn't happen when I review the main course, so to speak. This thing, I do not know what it is, but it's something. It's got chicken in it. It's got what appears to be some sort of material like lettuce and my phone's falling down because of the wind, but I don't care. And I'm going to try it. Well, they say that's mayonnaise. And they can also say, I really shouldn't have had that sour lolly uh, yesterday. Because it was so sour that my teeth still hurt, even a day after, and two teeth brushes. Oh no, that's no, sorry. Pardon? Yeah, I don't smoke, so I don't have anything to offer. Yeah, I don't have anything to offer. Yeah. Took in a second bite just to be sure, and. Indeed, this time it is chicken. Unlike the Hellfire box, it is actual chicken this time. It's a miracle. Mayonnaise, bread, chicken, lettuce. It's a combination that is at least bearable. I got to commend Red Roost this time, and uh, I might actually change my score to 7.9 out of 10. Yeah. I raised my 350 mil can of Coke to you, Red Rooster. We've made a meal. And you know, I wasn't sure about this one because it wasn't a burger. 
I I got an aversion to things that aren't birds. Hence why I love Family Jack. Has nothing to do with the fact that I'm from WA. But yeah, I got to commend them this time. They they go on with something different and they um still manage to not make it taste like fish in spite of it being chicken. So I give my last ceremonial sip to this red rooster meal that I forgot the name of, and you guys will have to find out what it is yourselves. Yep, that's just a generic Coca-Cola. Again, extra points for the colour. So on and off, this lunches.